Hello everyone, I'm Bang Duo Chen from Beihang University. Today, I will introduce our work, San Rodina, a benchmark suite for exploiting architecture properties of a San processor. This is joint work between Beihang University and Tsinghua University. This is outline of my talk. First, I will present the background and the motivation. There are a lot of supercomputers in our world. Among them, Sanwei Tefolet is an important platform. Sanwei Tefolet was the first supercomputer surprising 100 pit flops. The Sanwei Tefolet is powered by 40,960 Sanwei 26010 processors. There are three unique features of Sanwei 26010 processor. First, CV is a manic architecture. Second, the CVs are organized in 8 multiply 8 match and support the register communication between CPEs along the same row or column at low latency. Third, CVs can use both direct memory access and normal global load or store instruction to access data in any memory. The DMA outperforms the load or store instruction in both bandwidth and latency. Currently, there are two parallel programming paradigms supported on Sanwei processor. They are OpenACC and ISRAD. OpenACC primarily focuses on productivity. It is easy to parallel the programmers with the pragma annotation, whereas ISRAD, whereas ISRAD exposes the architecture details to the programmers, which is less friendly but it allows the user to manipulate program execution in fine granularity. Now I will introduce the motivation of our work. Firstly, existing optimization techniques based on Sanwei processors are always tightly coupled with the application logics and buried deeply in the large code base of the application. For example, climate modeling which won 2017 Golden Bear Prize. Consists of over half a million lines of code. It's really difficult for programmers to learn and understand these optimization techniques. Secondly, there are no benchmark suit for Sanwei process so far. So we implement the Sanwei Rodina to illustrate various optimization techniques and review the optimization direction. The Rodina benchmark suite is one of the most widely used parallel benchmarks. It consists of 23 benchmarks and are selected based on the well-known white paper for parallel computation from University of Berkeley. We select six benchmarks from five distinct doors from Rodina and post them to Sanwei processor with various optimization techniques to fully exploit the architecture features. Next, I will present the optimization techniques. The first optimization is to improve the data locality of the program. We illustrate this optimization technique using backpropagation as an example. In a thread version, we allocate three array in LDM and we would like to transfer data from our to LDM using DMA, but in original serial code, Raycon is accessed in column major pattern, which is not friendly to DMA operations. So we need to exchange the order of loop J and loop K, as shown in algorithm 1. Then the array will be accessed in row major pattern continuously, so it can be transferred to LDM through DMA easily. The second optimization is computation overlap. We can use double buffer technique to overlap the data loading and the computation. We use BFS as an example to introduce the double buffer technique. The code of the double buffer technique is shown in algorithm 2. As the figure shown, double buffer needs double space of the loaded data, one for computation buffer, the other one for preload buffer. At the beginning, there is no data in LDM, so CBs will load data first. In stage 1, the CBs can perform computation, and the CBs call DMA transfer function in advance to preload data for next stage. 
the data transferring and the computation are performed at the same time. Once the data preloading and the computing are finished, we can step into stage 2. In stage 2, we need to exchange compute buffer and preload buffer. Then we preload data for next stage and compute at the same time and repeat till all computation is completed. The third optimization is data reuse. Data reuse can reduce memory bandwidth usage. We use Hotspot 3D as an example to illustrate this optimization technique. The memory access pattern of the program is shown in figure A. The data at the position C is related to its neighbors along the X, Y, Z axis directions, including E, W, N, S, T, and B. At the next loop, as shown in figure B, C moves to the position of N and becomes C single codes. And the and the computation of the date single codes relies on the date in position n single codes, c, t single codes, b single codes, and the neighboring date along x axis. We found that the date of n and c along x axis are already in LDM, so we can reuse them directly instead of getting those dates from main memory again. The fourth optimization is reduction primitive. In KMIS, we use reduction operation based on the register communication instead of accessing main memory. The process of reduction primitive as the figure shows, we also provide the corresponding code. In step 1, each CPE sends its local reduction variable to the first CPE at the same row. The CPE is at the first column receives the variable perform the reduction on the received variables, and derive a partial result of its row individually. In step 2, the CPE in the first column sends the partial reduction result to the first CPE at the same column, then CPE 0 performs the reduction and derives the final result. Finally, CPE 0 writes the final result to the main memory. Next, I will introduce the evaluation of our benchmarks. This is our experiment setup. We record the average time obtained from file runs as the final result, and the baseline is the serial version of benchmarks on MPE. As shown in figure, it's obvious that the performance of a thread are much better than that of OpenACC, while well, most of the OpenACC words have negative results. This is because OpenACC cannot make good use of the architectural features of a Sunway processor. As for a thread version of k-means, all of the arrays can be transferred through DMA. We also design efficient reduction primitive using register communication. We also analyze the benchmarks using the roofline model to better understand the effectiveness of our benchmarks on Sunway architecture. As the figure shows, the operational intensity of our benchmark is under the slope of the roofline model, and thus our benchmarks are mostly bounded by the memory bandwidth. Therefore, increasing operation intensity has become the key to improving the performance of these benchmarks which we leave for optimization in the future work. Next, I will introduce our several useful insights based on the optimization experiences. OpenACC and ACRED emphasize on different aspects in terms of programmability and performance. When using OpenACC, programmers can insert limited programs to optimize the code easily, but it's difficult to fully exploit the architecture features. Whereas using ACRED, the programmers are responsible for explicitly controlling the parallelization on CPEs to get higher performance.
We summarize the three software optimization solutions. Firstly, when the programs access large data from main memory continuously, computation overlap will help programs get higher performance. Secondly, it's crucial to leverage data locality by loading frequently used data in LDR, reuse the data during calculation. Finally, when a CPE needs to communicate with other CPEs, register communication can be used, such as the parallel reduction primitive. We also propose three hardware optimization directions. Firstly, we suggest to enable LDM sharing among CPEs for better performance of irregular application. Secondly, we hope register communication can support large data transferring. Thirdly, we suggest to support auto or communication pattern to avoid the position limit to CPEs. Finally, I will make the conclusion. We implement Semi Rodina, a benchmark suit tailored on Semi processor. In Semi Rodina, we demonstrate several effective optimization techniques. Moreover, we highlight several useful insights for both software optimization and the hardware improvements of Semi processor. It was mentioned that we have added three new benchmarks, Jacobi, KNN, Stencil, to Semi Rodina recently. In the future, we will port more benchmarks to Semi Processor and encourage the community to contribute to Semi Rodina with us continuously. That's all. Thanks.